Hello everybody and welcome back to the Farmer's Dynasty Let's Play. So in the previous video what I did is I basically just finished the Home Sweet Home quest which was fairly time consuming but I think it was a good thing to do. The main reason for it is so, well, two reasons actually. One is so that we can clear the, the quest map of uh, that particular quest but also so we've got the extra 20,000 social points to help us uh, get to know people better, that sort of stuff. Now, as well, in the previous video, I probably should just mention this, uh, many people said they don't like the yellow. Um, you can indeed uh, change the, the top layer there to this uh, concrete render as well, if you would like to. But as so many people have said they hate it, maybe I should just change the, uh, the bottom layer here to brand new bricks. I don't know. It's very hard to please everybody, but... I don't know. I think if it was totally yellow, the whole house, it would look much better. It's because at the moment it's sort of in half, which doesn't really help. Half is yellow, half is breeze block. Let's eat an egg. For fun. Let's eat three, in fact. Good. Uh, I did also, as well, let me just jump up here. I did turn the wooden hen house roof back to where I had a ceramic roof before. I just thought that the wood be, would be better. Um, so there we go. The wood would be better. What a mouthful. Uh, and yeah, I don't think there's any more eggs to collect in here today, but we will be sleeping in a while, probably after this video. Yeah, the eggs have been sorted. They've gone inside our tummy. So, let's close the gate. We'll close this gate so they don't escape. And there are still many other things we can upgrade. Many people have mentioned it before. I think it could be this gate, sorry, this fence, uh, or another one, which you can uh, you can turn to metal. But we're not going to do it at the moment. Oh, it's probably this one here, actually. You do need to have the sheet metal enabled to be able to upgrade metal pieces. That probably does include the downpipes as well. So hopefully that sorts out a few things, just basically uh, acknowledging everybody's comments from the previous video. We do also have some uh, scaffolding, which we'll get rid of. That's better. Oh, no, wait, we have the nail gun. Nail that. How are our plants doing? They're probably doing quite well. Yeah, pumpkin seedlings. But they're growing into some fairly decent sized plants. I think the pumpkin seedlings are just what we've got equipped in here. We should be able to put it back actually, but it doesn't seem to want us to. So we'll just keep these growing in here, these plants, until they are ready to do something with. For the time being, they're going to have to stay here. So that sorts out the greenhouse for today. Now I think what we should really do is actually work on our fields. Very important. So if I can go and get the tractor, which is actually nowhere near here, we still have the Valentine chocolates as well. Yeah, so if we get this tractor and drive back to the farm, unless there is somebody else we can talk to on the way back, then I think really we should just uh, we could just focus on the uh, the ploughing. There is one more quest. One quest just here. That must be the one where we have to plough somebody's field. You notice an old cedar on the farm, perhaps the owner would like to trade it cheap. Yep, they would like to trade it for ploughing this field or this field. Not sure which one. But it, that is basically what you have to do, I think. So we'll go back to the farm. Via this lady. I'm guessing it's a lady. I don't know. I think I have been there before. Oops. Okay. Time for a jump cut. Here we are. So, I dropped my marker here. There is a woman just here. Busy. She's busy. There is also another woman just here. Sorry. She's busy too. Okay. It's probably somebody over here then. Hmm. It probably is one of those two, but they don't want to talk. So we'll move on very quickly. I'll see you over at the farm. So if we had some cows, we could start to accumulate some slurry or manure, but at this stage we don't have any. That is quite a good point though, I probably should get some, because if we do buy some, they should start to bring in a bit of money, which would be nice. So if I just jump out of here, I suppose to get the cows we'd have to go down to the agricultural uh, store, just here, which isn't too far away. 
So I could do, yes, let's go and, I'll go and buy some cows. We, we can't afford too many. We've got um, 8,692 euros. And we probably should keep some money left over for buying another field. We own three fields currently, all of which need to be cultivated and drilled. We don't have the drill. We'll have to plan somebody's field, like I said, to actually get it. Uh, but once we do have the drill, that'll be the main quest line for this stage done. Which I have completed before, but obviously I had to revert back to this uh, new save. Just because it was the beta version, this is the early access version. So, I'll see you over at the agricultural store. Here we are. Is this the way in? I've been here many times before. Yes, it is. Page number two. Cows. 500 euros each. This was dropped. This has been changed. It used to be a thousand euros each, so we can now get twice the amount for the same amount of money. Uh, I think we should probably go with five to begin with. As for food, is that just hay? Cow food. Right, okay. Um, we don't have any hay ourselves. We probably should try and make some. We have a baler. And we have a mower, but we don't have a tether or a rower. So I don't know how that would work exactly. But the good thing is we now have some cows. So let's go back to the farm. Please excuse the teleporting. They should have appeared in the cow barn just over here. They have. How are you? They seem happy enough. I think, well, somebody did mention these can be upgraded to metal as well. I don't know if they can be, but we've repaired them. They look pretty good anyways, wood, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with how they are. Yep, they seem like a happy bunch, very good. So they can stay here, producing money. Not literally, but through their milk and stuff. Uh, I assume they're milking cows. Then, yes, that is how we can, uh, we can make the money. I'll just attach to this slurry spreader over here, just to see what it says if we do drive over the trigger. I'll just spin around. I think you actually have to go over here, over the wooden piece. Let's find out. I wouldn't expect anything to be in there, although that is doing something. It's, it's put something in it. I don't know what, and I don't know if we have to cultivate the field first, prior to uh, slurry spreading in, in real life. You would not plough first, from what I can gather, but in this game you might have to. Interesting. Well, that is doing something. We can't have very much though, surely. Hmm. No, stop. There we go. So... That is a darker texture. That has done something. Impressive. So in that case, let's try and do this properly. Before it all runs out. Unless it already has done. We'll put cruise control on. And I'll try and cover the entire field. Ah, yes, we do have some. 4% full. Well, we might as well spread what we have boost the yield for some of the field. It is depleting quickly. But it helps. It's all worth it. I would assume it would just stop coming out of the back once it's empty. Yes. So, it was worth it. Anyway, let's go and park it up over here. Then we'll jump... Uh, actually no, we're still on the tractor, <laughs> we won't jump on anything. Uh, we'll have to attach to the plow to do that first. This will probably fill up again. Or not. Nothing in there. Okay. What did it say? When your animals produce slurry, it is disposed from here to be used as a fertiliser. You need a dedicated spreader for this task. Right. Well, that all seems to be working very well. We just need to get some more slurry. So in the meantime, while the cows get busy with their slurry production, we'll move some stuff out of the field, and then we'll go and get the plough and begin ploughing. 
I don't think you have to plow. You can just cultivate and drill. But we're going to do a thorough job. So step one will indeed be uh, plowing. The baler should really be inside. I think we do actually have quite a bit of space here. This one's available and the trailer can go in one of these. Okay, that's the plow. We'll open it. The trailer can go in... Nope, not in there. We can buy fertiliser if we'd like to. But the more we can use the organic materials, the better. Okay, it's obviously much easier with the steering wheel. Still using the keyboard. I look forward to getting the new tractor though, because although this tractor is pretty good, I would prefer to have something a bit bigger. Uh, we'll take the plow over there, then we'll bring the trailer back. The trailer actually isn't really in the way for this field on the left hand side. Wow, it's actually got something in it as well. Well, I think we should keep the grain in there, really. We'll sell it very soon. Right, I put everything away, the trailer is in there too. So let's go and reattach to the plow. And then we'll begin in the smaller field. I think it's this one here. So, I would really love to have a bigger tractor with the, the larger plow because it obviously it's going to make these jobs much easier and probably more fun to watch. But, we are quite a long way off that, so it's going to have to just stay like this for the time being. But don't worry, because this is going to be a time lapse first of all. A time lapse of ploughing field number. Do they have numbers? No, we'll call it field number one. That is the field done, for now. Uh, in fact, what percentage does it say it's been ploughed? 100%, fantastic. Well, I suppose it would be expected since it is 100% done, even by looking at it. Uh, so, cultivated 0%, fertiliser 0%. Interesting, so that means that you do have to fertilise afterwards, I would say. Also, manure is zero, so, yeah. I would say uh, plough, fertilise, and then cultivate, but maybe not actually. This game seems to be looking at it differently. So maybe plow, cultivate, drill, fertilize. Who knows? Anybody who has done it before, please do let me know. In this game I'm talking about, by the way, not real life, because uh, it's likely different. So we'll put this plow back over here. I think what we should do is go over to the store, get some metal, and then repair the downpipes be quite a good thing to do. 
The only problem is the tractor which I was using to teleport to the store with the depot was this one. So we're going to have to drive back over there. It's not too far. What time is it? 16.58. So we'll keep going until it starts to go dark. Today has flown. We seem to have not really done much at all. Plowed a field. Done a few bits and bobs. Um, but the good thing is, when we do sleep, the farm evolves. Uh, there should be some more progress on the plants in the greenhouse. Uh, also some hens. I've got some eggs. They should have had some eggs anyway. Not necessarily, I suppose. It's just every day they do tend to lay some. And really, it's just another day progressing through the year. Somebody said as well that you don't actually have to live through the winter here. You just hibernate. You, I think you finish off in is it October time, November time? And then you reappear in April or something. That's what I've been told. I haven't actually witnessed it myself. So it's not necessarily true, but it does sound like a very uh, viable solution to skipping the winter time. Okay, here we are in the depot. The building supply depot. I look forward to being able to have the minivan as well, because uh, that is a very useful tool to have. So, oops, if we go in here, the metal roof plate is one thing. We probably don't need it, but it isn't very expensive. Secondly, there should be some metal. Was it over here? It is, good. So hopefully, if I select metal and then go over to the farm, just here, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to upgrade and repair different things made out of metal. As somebody else has mentioned too, you might be able to actually upgrade the fence. I don't know if it was this fence or the outside fence. Yeah, the outside fence I would say, because it is very rusty. Yep. So it just makes the entire area look much nicer. Wow, that's a big one. Four pops off the riveter. They must be doing quite a bit in each go. So yeah, the rebuild, the upgrades, aren't part of the Home Sweet Home quest. These are just to make it look better. And also at the moment, the materials are unlimited. You don't actually have a restriction on how much you have. You don't have to keep buying it but that may change in the future. So we have another piece of fencing over here. When it does one pop, it's obviously just doing the one section, but when it, when it does four pops, it's doing a massive stretch. In this case, a gate. But in this case, it's doing two pieces, as you can see. It's just speeding stuff up, making it more enjoyable. I can hear my cows. Pretty much everything. There we go. Oh. Mustn't miss these things. Also, I did actually notice a few comments about missing a piece of ceiling. So just inside, in this extra bedroom, I think it is. A few people call it a dining room, understandably. There is a table here, but not many dining rooms have a toilet. Is that a toilet? No. Must, it's like a washing machine, actually. An old washing machine or something. I'm not too sure. So this house has no toilet. Okay. But I have missed a piece of ceiling. This needs to be painted. So I'll do that as soon as possible. Uh, the floor needs to be done too. All these things aren't necessary as such. It's just to do make the entire area look better. So to finish off, just for the time being, I'll just do this gate over here. This entire fence, in fact. Four pops on the riveter. There is also a pedestrian gate by the look of it. Is that a pedestrian gate? Yeah, it is. Which I have just annoy and very annoyingly opened. We also have this one, this one here. Keep going. Come on, riveter. You've got lots of work to do. Ah, four pieces, that's good. It'll do a whole stretch. That's better. Right, all the way up here now. 
another two. And I might miss a few things. I can always come back to it in the future. This is what I said when I was doing the house, but even so, uh, I do get quite a lot of comments about missing stuff. But it doesn't matter, because you can just go back to it. I do really want to progress with the farming in the next episode, so the more we can do now, the better. The more we can do with the, uh, the rebuilding. Come on, four sections. I want to do four. This piece, three sections. I wonder how it decides how many sections it's going to do. Ah, oh, that's a four. Maybe it has to be perfectly straight to be a section. Another pedestrian gate for the postman. And three sections here. Right, I think we've pretty much had it now with the repair of the fencing. We're going to do the guttering, or the downpipe. Is that it? Yep, okay. So, hopefully, it's going to work. It is. One pop on each. Unless it's separating. It is. Right, it's looking much better. We also have to glaze the stairs as well, I think. That's that piece done. Is that everything? I think it might be. Yep. Okay. Even all these things. Uh, we can't actually upgrade these. They can just stay here decaying because they don't really need to be done. So actually there's one other thing. We have to go over here. The silo, the silo roof, the dome piece, that should really be done as well. Nail that. If I climb to the top, that's better. Every section seems to have to be done separately. This really doesn't matter, but we do need to make sure our grain is watertight. Otherwise, it could be a bit of a soggy mess and a waste of money if we lose our grain. There we go. That's the thing about this game. There is, there's always something else to do. There's always something else that needs to be repaired or worked on. Put that away. Ow! That must have hurt. Okay, well, <laughs> as Olis9 did say in one of the comments recently, um, something about if they do ever implement the ability to get injured, I would die fairly soon because I fall off every piece of scaffolding. Whether it's intentional or by accident, I fall off every single piece. So, what time is it? It's almost close to seven. Let's go to bed. And then in the morning, we'll get the hen's eggs and then we'll go and paint the uh, ceiling. A very quick rest. Very quick. Although it did take a while. Uh, yeah. Your cows need milking. How on earth did it... Hmm, a door that needs doing too. I'm sure I did that door. Ah, yes. Yes. Apparently, some things revert back. So, for example, the door up there, this door here, it's reverted back. So, actually, I won't do any wood glazing because otherwise it would be a waste of time. So, I'll wait for a patch. I put the riveter away. I'm not too sure why we have the riveter out. Let's go and pick up the hen's eggs, then we'll go over to the cows. And then finally, we'll finish off with a tiny bit of painting. They're all busy, aren't they? Our breakfast is hit. Oh, wow. Quite a few. Anything? Ah, they, they all seem to have spawned in clumps. Probably everything. Yep. Right. Cows, you need help with your milking procedure. They're over here. I have no idea how to do it, so this will be fun. Hello. Milk the cow. You have to keep pressing E. So I wonder where this is going to. If we have some kind of storage facility for the milk, I'm not too sure. Plus two milk. Is that... Ah, that's appearing here. So you then go and sell that over at the village store. 
Don't sit down on your udder. I'm trying to milk you. That's better. Thank you. So each one has, is it two liters? Oh, why do they all sit down when I'm trying to milk them? You annoying cows. What about you? Will you sit down when I'm trying to milk you? Almost. Yes, you, yes, well done. It's like they're timed, so it's your turn next. You need to sit down about now. Go on. Sit down. Brilliant. You have been the best cow today. Look at these cheeky ones. They've stood up now. Unbelievable. You're the star cow of today. Because you haven't crushed my hand. Thank you. I wonder how much the milk costs. I wonder how much we can get for it. I won't sell any just yet. We've got 13. I'll drink one just for ourselves um, but we must keep quite a bit for selling we can't keep it for too long because you'd have thought it would go stale yes anyway finally teleport let's teleport over here we'll just equip the paint it's called the finish coat concrete plaster finish coat there we go and then we'll teleport back over to the house actually we have to teleport to the harvester as far as I'm aware, more teleportation points are going to be put in. Or just another way of quick travelling. Let's go and paint this missed piece of ceiling. Otherwise it will likely annoy a few people. To be honest, I have no idea how that was missed anyway. But, I can rely on my subscribers to point it out, and I'm pleased that they do. And nobody else pointed out any of the ceiling that got missed, I don't think, so that should be all of it. So, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.